Here I'm showcasing one of the new, newest models that Condelea has um, come out with um, this year. And this is known as the Ilikai model. And Ilikai in Hawaiian pretty much means like the water's surface. So as you can tell by the brilliance and the, the sheen of colors that's um, of coming out of this ukulele, it's really supposed to represent like, you know, you're looking at the the surface of the water and you have this nice beautiful sunset with all of those nice rich you know, luscious colors and it's all reflecting on um, the ocean surface and for those of you who haven't been to Hawaii yet um, we do have pretty <laughs> nice sunsets over here so this is very indicative of what could possibly um, look like um, when you have a really nice sunset here in Hawaii. I just love that I'm gonna say this is like the maroon color, that nice cherry red, the orange, all the shades of blue, just, just really beautiful. And we have some of the um, stained fret markers here on the front, um, on the side of the instrument, and then even here on the K with the Kanilea logo. Um, looks like a teal color to me. So just really nice and just really catches the eye. It's, it's, it's very tasteful and I'm, I really love it, especially in the lighting in this room. It's just very, uh, with the curly maple body, you can really just see all of that wonderful depth um, in the instrument. So not only is it here on the surface or on the on the face of the instrument, we also have it here on the sides. And notice how even though it's not flat like this, like the front over here, that stain still follows all the way into the bottom of the instrument too. So it it really just follows. It wraps around the body just like that. So just beautiful, <laughs> masterful work um, in the staining. Um, of the maple of this instrument. Look at that, just <laughs> really beautiful, especially this part really gives off that that kind of water um, kind of effect. Really just really beautiful. And then a nice little small side port right there. Again with the teal fret markers on the sides and then even on the fretboard as well. So pin bridge um, and then ebony on the bridge itself, fretboard on the headstock. And then satin finish mahogany neck on the back, and then silver and black um, tuners, kani leo tuners, easy to use and uh, very accurate, but just <laughs> outstanding work from from kani leo. I'm very, I just love how innovative they are, and they're willing to go ahead and try, um, you know, just make masterpieces like this. They're you know a playable masterpiece, as they say. Um, just really, really gorgeous. Um, now, what's really cool about this concert size is that usually when you play, especially like sopranos or concert um, ukuleles, you're just not going to get that depth and that mature sound that you're going to get from playing like a tenor size, especially a baritone, because baritone, you're really leaning towards that mini guitar kind of sound, um, especially in the baritone tuning. But with tenor, you're going to get, you know, that's like the sweet spot of, uh, it's, you're going to get that unique ukulele sound, the standard tuning, GCEA, um, nice depth. But once you start venturing down into the concert and the soprano size, you know, because you don't have too much of a body space compared to the two bigger sizes, you're just not going to get that kind of depth uh, that you can get with the bigger ones. But this one, just, it, there's definitely like that lower end response and there's a nice sense of warmth too. Just very warm and very inviting. Again, nice low ends, which concert size and then low ends you don't really hear those two kind of paired together because low ends usually are more prominent in the bigger body um, instrument so it's just really nice to have that that kind of sound quality and uh, tonal properties um, in this instrument has a nice bright sound childlike sound which is very indicative of the ukulele's natural sound as you can see, I'm picking all around. Nice sustain, vibrato, very nice. So let's go ahead and run this for our sound sample.